The Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, has built and tested a wind tunnel model of advanced hypersonic missiles at its plant in Hyderabad. This significant achievement demonstrates self-reliance in India's hypersonic technology. The Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, has taken a significant step in hypersonic technology by publicly displaying wind tunnel models of three innovative missile systems at its hypersonic wind tunnel facility in Hyderabad. The event not only highlights India's advancements in high-speed missile technology, but also underlines DRDO's commitment to enhancing national defense capabilities. What is the purpose of the wind tunnel model? Testing the aerodynamic and thermodynamic properties of hypersonic missiles, so that they can perform effectively at high speeds and temperatures. Designed for testing at hypersonic speeds, Mach 5 and above. Ability to control air pressure and temperature. Precise calculation of aerodynamic drag, lift, and thermal effects. It will give India a stronger position on the global map in hypersonic missile technology. Indigenous testing and development capacity will increase. India's defense power and strategic capabilities will increase. The DRDO plant has already contributed to the development of various advanced missile technologies such as Agni and Prithvi missiles. DRDO is now focusing on the development of hypersonic cruise missiles and intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs. These tests will give a new direction and strength to defense research. This achievement is a major step towards taking the Indian defense sector's Atmanirbhar Bharat, Make in India, campaign to new heights. The first model of DRDO is that of the common hypersonic glide body, which is a hypersonic weapon designed to travel at speeds in excess of Mach 5. This glide body is intended to be multifunctional, which can be launched from various platforms, including ballistic missile systems, which gives India a strategic advantage in both offensive and defensive operations. Fill out a common hypersonic glide body, CHGB. The common hypersonic glide body, CHGB, is a state-of-the-art hypersonic weapon technology designed to deliver long-range precision strikes at hypersonic speeds, Mach 5 plus or higher. This technology is currently being developed by several countries, including the US, Russia, and China. Talking about it, the CHGB is capable of running at a speed of 5,000 to 25,000 km per hour. It is capable of beating conventional missile defense systems. CHGB is launched by a rocket booster and after reaching a specified altitude in the atmosphere, it glides towards its target. Its erratic and dynamic trajectory makes it difficult to track and stop. This system can destroy targets with high accuracy. It is capable of carrying nuclear and non-nuclear weapons. CHGB is made from special thermal protection materials to endure extreme temperatures and pressures. It is capable of withstanding temperatures up to 2000 to 3000 degrees Celsius. The CHGB has been given a special aerodynamic design, allowing it to maintain stability and accuracy at hypersonic speeds. The rocket engine serves to deliver it to the upper part of the atmosphere. The use of GPS and infrared technologies, which guide it in the direction of the target in real time. It is very useful for attacking enemy command centers, missile launch sites, and other high-value targets. It strikes faster and with more accuracy than conventional missiles. Its dynamic speed and ability to change direction make it extremely difficult to stop. Now talking about the international scenario, CHGB is being developed for the US Army. Its purpose is to provide a common platform for all three armies, land, water, air. Russia has made progress in this area with its Avangard system. China has developed a hypersonic glide body called DFZF. DRDO is working on hypersonic technology. HSDT, Hypersonic Technology Demonstrator Vehicle, is India's major achievement in this direction. What is its technical and strategic importance? High-speed missiles can prevent enemy defenses from responding in a timely manner. Weapons like the CHGB demonstrate highly advanced military capabilities. This technology provides countries with a strategic edge. The common hypersonic glide body, CHGB, is the technology that changes the direction of the future battlefield. 
Its speed, accuracy and destructive capability make it far more effective than conventional weapon systems. Developing such weapons and preparing defenses against them will be crucial for the global military power in the times to come. Now let's talk about the ADA Anti-Hypersonic Interceptor. The ADA Anti-Hypersonic Interceptor is a part of India's advanced defense system designed to counter hypersonic missiles. The system is being developed by DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization. It is intended to effectively intercept and destroy incoming missiles and weapons at hypersonic speeds. The ADA represents a significant growth in India's Ballistic Missile Defense BMD, system. It is an anti-hypersonic interceptor missile that is set to be part of the third phase of the Indian BMD system. Its primary role will be to counter hypersonic threats including hypersonic cruise missiles HCMs, and hypersonic glide vehicles HGVs, within the atmosphere. The development of ADA demonstrates India's proactive approach to neutralize emerging threats from adversaries who are also developing hypersonic weapons. The interceptor is designed to hit targets at very high speeds, demonstrating India's resolve to maintain a robust defense against next-generation missile technologies. The interceptor is designed to reach Mach 6 plus speeds. Precise sensors and AI-based tracking systems have been used in this. It uses a dual-pulse rocket motor for effective interception at high speeds. In this, advanced sensors have been used for accurate estimation of the speed, height and direction of the enemy's weapon. In this, the Kinetic Kill Vehicle KKV, has been used to destroy the enemy missile in the air. It uses tracking and command systems such as Earth Space Interface for identification and tracking of hypersonic objects and AI-enabled interface for real-time decision-making capability. But there are many technical challenges in this such as experiencing extreme heat and pressure at hypersonic speeds. Accurately tracking the irregular trajectory of hypersonic missiles. Timely interception of an enemy missile. Now if we talk about the strategic importance of this, ADA will provide a strong shield in protecting India from hypersonic weapons, the use of indigenous technologies will promote India's defense self-reliance. The system will enable India to compete in the hypersonic defense sector with countries like Russia, the US and China. There are possibilities for the future as well. Such as protection against hypersonic cruise missiles as well, the possibility of export under defense cooperation with other countries and the development of maritime and space-based anti-hypersonic systems. The ADA system will prove to be a game-changer for India. It will not only strengthen India's capabilities in the defense sector but also establish it as a leading country in the era of hypersonic weapons. Now let's talk about the Rasham Hybrid Hypersonic Anti-Ship Missile, which was recently tested for the first time by DRDO. Described as a hybrid hypersonic missile, Rasham uses the K-4 missile as its baseline, making a significant contribution to India's maritime strike capabilities. The missile is designed to travel at hypersonic speeds, allowing it to reach and hit naval targets with minimal warning time, making it a dangerous weapon in naval warfare. Razamich, long-range anti-ship missile, hybrid hypersonic, is an advanced hypersonic missile system designed to destroy sea targets. It is a combination of extreme speed, long range and accuracy, which makes it a decisive weapon in the maritime battlefield. The system is specifically designed to target enemy naval ships, aircraft carriers, and strategic maritime assets. Rocket boosters and scramjet engines are used in Razamage. The rocket booster gives it initial speed and altitude, and the scramjet engine maintains it at hypersonic speed, Mach 5 plus. It has the capability to engage maritime targets ranging from 500 to 1500 km and can be launched from outside the enemy's naval range. It is capable of destroying targets at speeds of Mach 5 plus and is equipped with AI-based guidance system and multi-mode seekers, radar, infrared, and visual. It has been designed with special stealth technologies to avoid radar. It has the ability to fly at low altitudes so that the enemy's detection system can be dodged. It is capable of carrying conventional explosives and nuclear payloads and is designed to destroy large enemy ships and structures. It has a state-of-the-art aerodynamic architecture to maintain stability and accuracy at hypersonic speeds. It uses anti-heat material 
which enables the missile to endure extreme temperatures. It is equipped with multi-mode homing seekers, active radar homing, passive electro-optical system and is guided in real-time by a data link. It also has route change capability and is equipped with AI and machine learning based navigation system, which can chase moving targets at sea. This missile can change its route to dodge enemy jamming and defense systems. It also has strategic uses. Destroying enemy aircraft carriers, destroyers, and other warships. The ability to defend and attack during operations over large areas of the sea. Integrated operations with air force, navy, and ground forces. Faster and accurate than conventional anti-ship missiles. Razamage does not give the enemy time to react due to hypersonic speed. Easy to avoid conventional radar due to stealth and flying at low altitudes. Razamage provides a strategic edge at sea, especially in high threat areas. This hypersonic weapon system has the potential to bring about a change in the balance of maritime power. India is working on Lagatar hypersonic anti-ship missiles, and this technology could prove to be a game changer for the Indian Navy. Weapons like Razamage in the Indian Ocean region will give India a strategic edge against China and Pakistan. Razamage, hybrid hypersonic anti-ship missile, is an advanced and lethal weapon system tailored to the requirements of modern warfare. Its speed, accuracy, and stealth capabilities make it highly effective in countering conventional and modern naval threats. Now let's talk about the Model P-32 hypersonic glide body variant called the P-32, another design variant for the hypersonic glide body. While these models are still in the development stage, wind tunnel tests indicate that India is on track to implement these technologies in the near future. The P-32 is a variant of an advanced hypersonic glide body, designed to provide high speed, accuracy, and flexibility. The system has been developed with highly irregular trajectories and high temperature tolerance to overcome the enemy's defense mechanism. The Model P-32 can be used exclusively as tactical weapons. Its main characteristics are hypersonic speed of Mach 6 plus, capable of dodging missile defense systems after entering the atmosphere at high altitudes, it glides on irregular routes, evading enemy radars and interceptors by constantly changing its trajectory. It has a special thermal protection system to endure extreme temperatures, more than 2000 degrees Celsius, generated at hypersonic speeds. Lightweight yet robust aerospace grade, combining GPS, infrared and radar homing for accuracy, is AI-based navigation that processes data in real-time and optimizes its path. Capacity to carry both nuclear and conventional payloads. Customizable for different target areas. Compatible with land, air, and sea-based launch vehicles, specially designed for launches from ICBMs and SLBMs, submarine-launched ballistic missiles, slim and aerodynamic body for high maneuverability and stability. Advanced design to ensure low energy decay during gliding. Designed for use in various operational theaters. Modular payload capability to evade enemy missile defense systems. Ability to carry out precision strikes at a distance of more than 2,000 kilometers. Capable of hitting tactical and high-value targets. Its erratic trajectory and hypersonic motion make it challenging for conventional interceptor systems. Operating in sea, mountainous terrain and other difficult environments. Suitable for nuclear attack capability as well as non-nuclear precision strikes. India, led by DRDO, is working on hypersonic glide body technology. Projects like HSDTV, Hypersonic Technology Demonstrator Vehicle, provide a strong foundation in this direction. This variant will give the Indian Armed Forces a strategic edge against adversaries like China and Pakistan. Ideal for challenging enemy missile defense systems. Development of indigenous technology will strengthen the Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat initiatives. It can be inducted as a major weapon system for the Indian Navy. Possibility of export to friendly countries under defense cooperation. The P-32 is an important variant of the hypersonic glide body technology. Its accuracy, speed, and flexibility make it suitable for the demands of modern battlefields. The system is a major step towards taking India's strategic defense capabilities to a new height. 
DRDO is now focusing on the development of hypersonic cruise missiles and intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs. These tests will give a new direction and strength to defense research. This achievement is a major step towards taking the Indian defense sector's Atmanirbhar Bharat, Make in India, campaign to new heights.